are so excited that today we are going to be talking about health, growth and development. And what does it mean to young people generally? We know that many young people are at home and some of these things can be very challenging for them. We are hanging out with buddies, girls, girls clap, and the boys. And I'm very pleased to introduce my co-facilitator, Mr. Hassan Sekajolo. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. And so what we are going to do today is body mapping. Our models are already lying down, which is good. So go ahead and start. Mm -hmm. And the body mapping is really to enable the young people to tell us what does it mean for growth and development. So... Girls group, let's see who does this faster. Mr. Sekajula, encourage your team, yeah. please. Okay, let's do this. Well done, very, very good. Did we win? Excellent. Okay, so you're going to name the different um, changes that take place during puberty. So please go ahead and, and name them. So, um, very good. Excellent. Anything else? The internal changes. organ, the internal changes. Does anything else happen, like to the voice? The skin. Yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe you may want to write them on the side. But there are some. Oh, excellent. Hair under the armpits. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, they shouldn't hear what you're saying. There are other parts that you're not including. What else happens? Something happens in the lower part. Enlargement of the hips. What else? Um, growth of pubic hairs, hair, that's correct. Yes. Excellent. Anything else? Pimples. <laughs> we yes. also call that acne. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Enlargement of the uterine wall and what culminates puberty? Menstrual period. Yeah. Obviously, we can't be drawing them there, it's but you yeah. can. It's already here. But you can point it somewhere. Okay. Starting of the menstrual period. But there's something else that we did not talk about. All these things start from the brain. Did you know that? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are special things that happen in the brain which start to release hormones. So there's, the, um, there's a special hormone that causes the release of all these other hormones that then result in the body changes. So I think it all starts right here in the brain, right? Something we call the hypothalamo and then the pituitary. And all these then result in the breasts growing. Then you can draw another arrow for me. Draw another arrow towards the uterus. And then remember the uterus has the uterus and then the fallopian tubes. It's so important for us to draw that as well on the woman because that is what makes women women and what differentiates us from the boys. Yeah? Okay. Yes. And so the ovaries are right there at the end of the tubes. No? Right here. You can draw the second one. And those Ovaries release estrogen. Yes. Okay. Like I told the girls, everything starts from the brain. The brain. And I hope you drew the testicles. Yeah. The, the testicles, uh, the penis and the testes. The testes are the ones that release testosterone. The hormone, yeah, the yeah, male yeah. hormone, the one that gives you your beards, your muscles, your... Mm? Yeah. But it all starts in the brain. In the brain in the hypothalamus. It's a tiny little thing in the brain. Just say 
Hypothalamo pituitary axis. Hypothalamo pituitary axis. Yeah, you can write it down. Hypothalamo pituitary axis. Pituitary. Yes. So whatever happens in the brain at a certain age yeah. will then release certain hormones, the granulocyte stimulating hormone, which then goes down to the testes, and then the testosterone starts to pour out. Okay. And ladies, the girl hormones are estrogen and progesterone. Okay. So, thank you very much for doing the body mapping and demonstrating all the changes that take place as people are developing from childhood to adolescence. I'm going to ask my friend, Boyd Said, to present what their body mapping means. My name is Kauma Paul and I'm here to present all about the male body, the one we have from mapping from our colleague. Um, this, as we know, this comes all begins from the brain. Um, the brain is, okay, there is some part of the brain that produces some, um, some hormones. I, okay, let me call it the male hormone from the hypothermo pituitary axis. This hormone, the, the, this, the, the male hormone helps us, like, it's the one which activates on the growth of the beards, um, the growth under the pits, the hair growth under the pits, um, the pubic hair. It also helps. It also uh, enlarges the the penis, as you can see this one. Eh? Um, the pubic hair is here. For those who do, who don't know about the pubic hair, then the hair growth under the armpits. Then these these adrenal glands, I think. They are the ones boys call opax. They call them packs around here. They, they are the ones we have tried to name here. Then there they are also the changes of the arms, the arms enlarges. So here we have named this the muscle, the muscle enlargement since our muscles also change. Because you can't convince me that you are, that you are born the, okay, the way you are as per now. Since you also feel that as male that something has changed in you. Your muscles, you feel them that they have enlarged. Then our legs, also, our legs and feet also change in a way that, let me say they enlarge and some, some become long, others larger than the normal ones. Um, we have also talked about, uh, apart from the physical, we have also talk, talk, talked about the, the actually, I, forgot it, I had forgotten about the change in the tests. These tests also enlarge. Um, we, have, we, have, we have also talked about some, some other changes which are not physical. This, I think these ones are kind of emotional or psychological. The way dreaming. Okay, you dream, you dream when you're having sexual intercourse. Well, let me say one beautiful lady you, that your mind brings up. And at the climax, you, you, there is ejaculation. There is beginning of ejaculation. Here the semen moves out of our penis and you end up wetting the, the bed. So we also have the changing in the voice. Since our, I think this, the, many, many called, okay, many call it the Adam's apple. Mm -hmm. But here the, he, like we tried researching and it's called larynx, enlarge, it's called the larynx. This, this vocal thing that enlarges, you, you feel like your voice has deepened. Some voices deepen and others, others don't. Okay, others become low. I don't know why. So I think, yeah, that's all we have as my group. Yeah. Give them a clap. Thank you. Paolo, I just wanted to correct you that the adrenal glands are not in your chest. They actually sit on top of the kidneys. Okay, thank you. Man. Yeah. So, ladies, could you please tell us what your body map was all about? My name is Nakawiyetiera, and this is our female body. Um, 
And these are some of the changes that happen to the female body during growth and development. One of them is that we, like the female body grows breasts, there is growth of pubic hair, there is pimples, which some people call acne. Then we have the enlargement or the rounding of hips. We also have growth of pubic hair around the private parts. Um, our legs and the muscles become stronger. Then around the uterus, we also experience menstruation. But all this does not happen out of the blue. It all comes from the hypothalamus hormones and the pituitary gland. And then the girl hormones are called the progesterone, the progesterones and the oestrogen and the estrogen. Then there are some some changes that happen in the female body that we cannot see physically. There is softening of the voice. Our skins become smooth. Then also menstruation. Thank you. Wow, mm. well done. Give her a big clap. So, just to summarize, when growth and development is happening, everybody is excited. And it all starts from way back. For girls, it starts around eight years. That is when puberty starts to happen. Your brain starts getting bathed with those hormones and getting used. And as you gain an appropriate weight, puberty actually sets in. And so you'll see that at eight years, girls may develop, you know, little breast buds, but sometimes they go back and then they come back like that. And then eventually they completely come. This is around 10 years to 12 years. Now, the other thing that happens is a growth spurt. And because girls tend to grow faster than boys, girls will be much taller. You've seen, you remember when you were around P7? All the girls were taller than you. <laughs> some were, but many of them were really growing very fast. But now, some of you are in senior six, and you're much, much taller than the girls. And then you wonder, what happened along the way? We thought these girls were going to become giants. But actually, the growth spurt happens earlier in girls than in boys. As the hormones pour out, the estrogen and the progesterone for girls, it's all preparing you for motherhood. And that is when, at the onset of puberty, when the puberty levels reach their maximum, you finally get menarche, which is the menstrual period. Sometimes boys get excited about, all oh, the girls started their menstrual period. But then we need to understand that boys get thelaki or spamaki. It starts with the testicles becoming bigger, and then the spamaki is what would have been like a menstrual period. So when boys get spamaki, it's what you call wet dreams. It's the peak of puberty. Are we together? So just remember, it starts off with the brain growing and then the hypothalamus pituitary axis and then we get the female hormones becoming increasingly more and more and more until a time when all the sexual changes happen. Because girls have a uterus, girls will get menstrual periods and girls will release estrogen and progesterone, which will then affect the ovulatory cycle, the changes in the, in the voice, the smoothness of the skin. And all these hormones can sometimes disturb people's uh, cognition and their emotions. There's also something else that happens during puberty, and that is the brain growing for the very last time. Many times we think 
adolescents and young people are disorganized, they are depressed, they are that. Hormones affect people differently. Who can tell us what happened when they were growing up? Did you ever feel sad or lonely? Anyone? You feel like you don't want to talk to anyone. And sometimes it's because you're growing faster than other people. Your hips are growing bigger and then your friend's hips are not growing. So it can cause a disturbed body image. But if we all understand that this is a normal process, it's a physiological change that takes place, then we will not be too shy about it or uncomfortable about it. I know that some boys, when they are in their bathrooms, especially in boarding schools, they keep peeping at each other to see the size of the muscles, you know. But everyone has their time and their peak. So you just need to control the, the bullying and all that so that everyone understands you cannot all be the same size. Yes? And then I know that also boys think the beard will come at 14 years. The testosterone is not yet enough. It has to be a lot before the beard actually grows. So relax, the beards will come and even the muscles will come. But the more you exercise, the more testosterone you're going to pour out. I just want you to know that even girls have a little bit of testosterone. It's what gives us, you know, because we get the Y hormone, the Y chromosome from our fathers. So we do have a little bit of testosterone. But men and boys have more testosterone. So, any questions? That, that's correct. So the question was, for girls who grow beards, are they men or do they have too much testosterone? Like I said, each of us has a little bit of testosterone. And yes, the facial hair can be a, as a result of having testosterone. There's a question yes, please. So you need to understand that whereas we know that there is no more puberty, there's something we call precocious puberty and there are reasons why some people will start developing breasts when they are just five years of age because there's an imbalance in their hormones interesting question chest hair for women. why do some women grow chest hair there are some people who are just hairy i hope you're not checking out women with chest hair <laughs> <laughs> they are just people who are really hairy and like I told you, some people do have testosterone, so that can increase on their hair, on their bodies. Mm. So what does the society say about body changes? I think sometimes when those, when those body changes are happening, um, there's secretion of, of, of sebaceous fluid, and the sebaceous glands can over multiply, that is why acne happens. And then there's also the body odor. Sometimes people call it mobode, like carbon monkwawa, all those body shaming words. However, we need to understand that it's not fair for society to ridicule people who are growing up. Because we as adults, we all went through these body changes. It's this time that we need to talk about cleanliness, taking a bath, because as your sweat glands are growing bigger and then you're doing a lot of exercise and then you're not smelling nice, people will laugh at you. So as people are growing up, we need to teach young people to be clean, to improve on their hygiene, so that when they finally grow up, they are responsible and respectable. There is early adolescence, there's middle adolescence and there's late adolescence. And because of all these hormones and hormonal changes that take place, some people may act irrationally. They want to experiment, some can be um, irritable, and they, there'll be clashes between young people and adults. And the adults, unfortunately, who suffer the most tend to be parents. So my urge is to the parents. 
Let us not be too hard on these young people. Let us teach them that growing up, like you saw in the body maps, it's part of life and we should normalize these things so that we live in harmony. As long as boys understand that it's okay to get wet dreams because that is actually the peak of uh, puberty, it's also called spamaki. It's completely normal. It's not that you have a weird mind that you're dreaming about a beautiful girl. No, it's just a normal. You're producing a lot of spermatozoa and it, it has to be released. Otherwise it will fill up in, in the testicles, you know. And no one should tell you that if you have a wet dream, you should go ahead and have sex. No, you, you can wait until the right time. So the adrenal glands are responsible for a hormone called um, adrenaline. They are internal. They are internal. They sit on top of your kidneys. Adrenaline is a fight and, f and fright hormone. So if you had gunshots right now, that excessive sweating that you would get, it's because of a reaction, because you've produced a lot of adrenaline. There's an adrenaline surge from the adrenal glands. So it's the hormone that keeps you going, you know? It makes you fear, it makes you run away, it makes you anxious. Thank you all very much again. Please give yourselves a big clap. We'll be back very shortly to talk more about growth and development. Thank you.